Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is March 13, 2022, and it is the second Sunday of Lent. The first reading is from the book of Genesis. The Lord God took Abram outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars, if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abram put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. He then said to him, I am the Lord who brought you from your of the Chaldeans to give you this land as a possession. O Lord God, he asked, how am I to know that I shall possess it? He answered him, Bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old she-goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Abram brought him all these, split them in two, and placed each half opposite the other. But the birds he did not cut up. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses. But Abram stayed with them. As the sun was about to set, a trance fell upon Abram. And a deep, terrifying darkness enveloped him. When the sun had set and it was dark, there appeared a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch, which passed between those pieces. It was on that occasion that the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your descendants I give this land, from the wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates. Responsorial Psalm The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me, and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper, cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord. In the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters. And observe those who thus conduct themselves. According to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven. And from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way stand firm in the Lord. Verse before the Gospel From the shining cloud the Father's voice is heard, This is my beloved Son, hear him. The Gospel according to Luke Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up the mountain to pray. While he was praying his face changed in appearance and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were conversing with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his exodus that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here, let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son, listen to him. After the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They fell silent and did not at that time tell anyone what they had seen. Reflection in our journey towards God we experience high moments, spots when we find ourselves on holy ground and God shows himself. That was the state of St. Peter as he witnessed the transfiguration of Jesus, 
Let us build here three dwellings, for you, for Moses and for Elijah. Peter wanted the party to go on forever. Jesus brought him down to earth, led him down the mountain, told him to stop talking about the vision and instead be ready for Calvary. All we do our whole lives long is go from one little piece of holy ground to the next. Lord, give me the strength to keep going in between. That's the end of the reflection from the sacred space. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.